welcome back to my channel today I have a really special video because I'm going to be showing you what's in my fridge you know that I am basically a lot into nutrition and exercising and just staying healthy and having a healthy lifestyle so I wanted to share what all are the goodies that I keep in my uh, freezer and my refrigerator and how I prepare uh, my meals and dish out healthy recipes from them. So let's get started. This is my fridge from GE and uh, this is completely loaded with organic stuff and as you all might be knowing that I am a vegetarian so everything that I uh, purchase is basically fruits and everything there are no non-veg or meat or anything of that sort so I have my milk can and then here back in there I have my organic low-fat yogurt that I use for my breakfast smoothie that I'm going to do a recipe tomorrow morning and I will post it as soon as that's done I use that and it's delicious this I got it from Trader Joe's and I have my yogurt which are my son's breakfast I top it off with berries and he loves this. Uh, this is the black cherry from Trader Joe's as well. The another uh, thing that I have is the organic low fat yogurt. These are like really interesting especially for kids because they are like the squishy things that they can even carry to school for lunch. I have some beans from Costco and I have some leftover kale chips. I just made some kale chips yesterday and I have my berries, some raspberries, strawberries, some strawberries from earlier. I have my zucchini uh, and opening these drawers I have some baby carrots that I love to just munch on especially with hummus and I have a leftover just lying around. Another yellow zucchini and then I have my baby spinach. I use it all the time in my smoothies and that's like the only thing that I actually use this for because I don't like spinach. I mean, since I was a kid, I was not very fond of spinach so I just figured out I would just use it every day in my smoothies. So I have some big box of that. I have my salads on days that I don't want to cook dinner and especially during the lunch time, I just make a salad wrap or like a salad burger or just whip it up with some balsamic vinaigrette and some feta cheese so i use this for that and i have some more of that because i salads are easier to whip and you can just make something really healthy in a matter of a few minutes and then i have some more kale chips <coughs> Some celery, I use it even for salads, chop them up in salads and even in smoothies. So this is a great way to just take your daily greens into your diet because it eventually just shows in your hair and skin and you just want to be glowing and it will just help you in the long run to stay um, at your best. So that's like my only thing that even before I turn 25 I should be living like a wholesome life and a lifestyle. So. Um, I try to concentrate on that. I have a head of broccoli, which I better use it up as soon as possible. I have some asparagus organic. I roast it all the time in my oven. That's why I just roasted it this afternoon. Uh, what? Yeah, buddy, I win. Okay, so this is uh, empty because it had lots of kiwis and stuff uh, like that and tomatoes and I'm out of them. So I will finish this all and then coming to all this goodness, here I have my minced garlic, some cheese, leftover tomatoes, I just like to put them inside when I eat uh, the leftover. Lots and lots of yogurt here, I use it for my, it makes my breakfast a lot easier and I have some mozzarella cheese, some hummus dip again from Trader Joe's. Prim gum, please, Lynn. I have some, what is this? Okay, yeah, this is the fig butter that I use it with my muffins. And I have that. I have some Mediterranean feta cheese. I use this in my wraps. Earth Balance Natural 
little buttery spread. I love this stuff. It is uh, not uh, fatty at all. It is so delicious and it has this, none of those saturated fats that we all try to avoid. And um, yeah, so I really like that. That's a good brand. Then again, I have my almond butter. This is something that adds protein into my daily life because it's so easy. Daily life. In daily life, especially with bananas. I banana. just top almond butter on top of bananas and give it to my son. He gets his potassium as well as protein. And it's so quick and easy. I have my blueberry preserve reduced sugar organic jam. Again, I got this at Trader. And then I usually have my milk out here they're all organic again and then I have my mayonnaise which is again vegan mayonnaise I think it is made of soy um, yeah it contains a soy so this is like a soy mayonnaise you can put all the vegetables in this and then make it like a wrap or like a sandwich and kids absolutely love it and ginger garlic paste, some English muffins for breakfast. I have my green chili sauce, some pineapple juice. Actually, I used to buy the whole fruit of pineapple earlier, but it's like too difficult for me to cut and all of that. But uh, so I thought this would be an easier option for me, and it is full of vitamin C. So left pineapple juice. I have my creamy corn roasted tomato pepper soup, and. Oh, the thing that I wanted to let you guys know is I love this bread. It's Milton's mm, whole grain, 100% whole wheat bread, naturally sweetened with honey. And I got this at Trader Joe's. And this one is one of, this bread is one of the most tastiest, nutritious bread that I've ever tasted, if you understand what I mean to say. I've been looking out for bread that I really like. And this is something that I've been really enjoying. And this brand is something that I really look forward when I, uh, to, for purchasing. So this completes that. I don't eat a lot of ice creams or anything that's overly fattening. So as you can see, my entire thing is basically empty. I just have some tortillas and frozen tortillas and some pack of frozen peas just for some dessert i have these ice pops that i got at a grocery store as a treat sometimes for my son when he's been a good boy and that winds up my what's in my fridge video and i hope you guys enjoyed it and got some ideas on how to manage your meals and how to do meal planning which i'll talk about further in depth in uh, another video so if you really liked it please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and i will see you in my next video please like bye